Hi, I'm Tammy Joe with another WPI Technique. Today we're going to show you how to regulate pressure and vacuum sources with our 900A micropressure system using a pressure manometer. The handheld and battery operated PM series pressure manometers monitor vacuum and pressure in non-aqueous fluids. An integral transducer and digital display allow easy and accurate pressure reading. Pressure can be read on the built-in LCD display or relayed to a chart recorder, oscilloscope, or computer. A range switch allows measurement in units of PSI or millimeters of mercury. The sources of pressure and vacuum for the 900A pressure pod should be regulated to approximately plus 350 millimeters of mercury for the pressure and minus 150 millimeters of mercury for the vacuum. Turn on the manometer and set the unit's switch to millimeters of mercury. Connect the output of the pressure source to port B on the meter to monitor the pressure. Regulate the pressure up or down until the manometer reads approximately 350. Then connect the vacuum source to port B on the meter to monitor the vacuum. Regulate the vacuum up or down until the manometer reads approximately negative 150. The pressure in vacuum may be regulated to pressures other than our suggestion. However, it is crucial that the pressure side always be of a greater absolute value than the vacuum side and that there is a minimum of 75 millimeters of mercury difference between the pressure and the vacuum sources. If you need any help with your 900A system, just give us a call.